Andrew Martin, who is one of the lead actors in Fire Song, a fantastic movie we saw screened last night as part of the Canadian and Australian Indigenous Roundtable on Health and Wellbeing. Can you tell us a little bit about yourself? Uh, so my name is Andrew Martin. Uh, I am from the Mohawk Nation, uh, First Nation, uh, Mohawk Nation, uh, situated in southern Ontario on the Six Nations of the Grand River Territory. Um, I am 23 years old, and uh, yeah, this is the third time screening Fire Song in Australia. Fantastic, and if this is the third time you've been to Australia then? Yes, yes, I absolutely adore it here. Nice, and actually coming in, all the ladies were loving him already. He seems to be very well known despite only being here three times. Um, so can you tell us a little bit about the movie? Uh, so the movie uh, is a coming of age story. Uh, it surrounds, the, uh, it surrounds um, a Northern Ontario Reserve um, and covers a number of different issues within the Indigenous community, anything ranging from, uh, from drug abuse to sexual assault uh, to drug abuse um, as well to even uh, uh, covering the subject matter of homophobia as well and, and uh, two-spirited people. Uh, now the film, <clears throat> uh, the film uh, de, uh, follows the story of Shane, uh, a young gay Anishinaabe man, um, and his, his, uh, and with him, uh, you follow his story with trying, trying, him trying to figure out how to pull everything together um, in the wake of his sister's suicide in uh, and along with his mother, who has um, become almost unresponsive to the outside world. Um, and also him wanting to leave his reserve, go to school, and also trying to raise the money in order to do that, all while trying to take care of what's left of his family. Yeah, I saw this film for the first time last night. It's a very powerful film, and I think, even though it's set in Canada, it certainly resonates with the most Aboriginal people and Torres Strait Islander peoples here in Australia. The issues are uh, not dissimilar. Very powerful film. There was a, quite a silence actually after the film. It's normally you'd clap or something, but everyone just kind of sat there with it. Yes. Um, so I mean, in terms of the Canadian and Australian relationship, and they brought you out here, the uh, High Commissioner. I mean, do you think that there's a, 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 an ongoing relationship possible between Indigenous peoples from Canada and Australia? I definitely think there there is there is potential for an ongoing relationship, um, especially now that everybody has been brought together in one mm -hmm. place. Um, I'm not entirely sure if this has been done before or not, um, but uh, this is the first time. Um, then I definitely think that there is potential for future gatherings such as this, and the gatherings I think can only grow from here. And especially after um, even just talking with the, uh, the Winonga men's group yesterday and telling them about my experiences of living on the reserves and my experiences in Canada, a lot of them were coming back to me with their own experiences that were, you know, that were very eerily similar to what we as Indigenous people encounter in Canada, as well as what Indigenous people here encount, uh, encounter in Australia. Yeah, because we have mission systems. And yes. Yeah. <clears throat> like my grandma grew up on a mission and then I've been down there and it's not the nicest place. Yeah, uh, same here. I grew up on the reserve uh, pretty well my entire life. Um, 17 years old is when I started leaving to go to work and that's kind of when I started getting my first taste of the outside world. <laughs> yeah, okay, that's, I can imagine. So you talked last night actually about the, the need for allowing youth voices and young people's voices. I mean, do you want to kind of expand on that a little bit more? Uh, so in talking with a lot of young people, um, one of the things that a, just about every one of them have told me is that all they want or really, and what they really need is just somebody to sit there and listen to them. Mm. Um, I, I can honestly say that uh, when I was going through a lot of, a lot of hardships when I was younger, um, you know, adults would often just talk over, talk over me. Um, they wouldn't allow me to speak. They wouldn't allow me to do this. And when it did land me in some really, like you know, in a really unfortunate situation, um, it came down to that being almost completely taken away from me. And I, you know, I was deemed almost unable to take care of myself, um, even though I, that's something that I had been doing for a long time, anyways. Um, and after that, especially, it seemed like nobody wanted to hear what I had to say. It was all what the adults wanted for me, what they wanted to say, and what they say had to be a part of, had, had to encompass my life. Mm -hmm. um, and in reality, and after and looking at it now, and then also looking at the number of youth er, and the different people that I have spoken with and that have come to speak with me, they just want somebody to sit there and just sit there, shut up, and listen. They don't want somebody to tell them, like, you know, that, 
that this is you know that this is wrong that this is right they just want somebody to listen to know that they're to there and just somebody to tell them that it's going to be okay mm. there's um there's a thing called a diary here in Australia which is about deep listening and it's a, an Aboriginal way of listening might be something you'd be interested in because again I used to be a youth worker and yeah the, most of the time you just sit there and listen feed them as well they like yeah. being fed yeah, oh yeah yeah <laughs> <Who doesn't? laughs> between the listening and the feeding it was yeah a good combination but um I think we'll wrap it up there you're in demand out there so I don't want to keep you and is there anything else you'd like to add anything any messages for people who have seen the film and you know uh, thank you for anybody out there that has seen the film. You are a brave soul for you, uh, and if you have gone through any of that that is shown there, you are definitely stronger than most people out there. And just know that there is somebody out there that is act that does actually believe in you and that is rooting for you to come out in the end of it. And I have to say, you're a very brave person for participating in the film and speaking publicly about your experiences. So thank you. Thank you.